Hey everybody out there, it's Mrs. C, and today I'm coming to you with some guest stars. So let's hear who I have today. On my right, I have... Skittles. Skittles, that's a cute name. <laughs> and across from me, I have... Tori. Tori, that's a lot easier to remember than the other name she had. And over to my left, I have... Charlotte. Charlotte, can you tell who that is? I wonder. Question mark. Hashtag. Hashtag. Who is it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, girls, we have a couple different problems. We're starting out with the easier. Pick a color. Any color? Purple. Purple it is. All right. Let's do this problem. Now, when we, what are we doing? Multiplying, power, power. What's the property? Um, it's the, it's multiplying. It's just multiplying. Okay. So the rule is, Tori, when you multiply like bases, you? Keep the base. Keep the base <laughs> and do what to the exponent? Add them. Add them. Wasn't that wonderful, Charlotte? Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Okay, but we still multiply the numbers. So we have 2 times 4 is 8 times 2 is 16. 16. It's good having help because I'm usually doing this by myself at about 4 in the morning. So let's put the A's together. I have to say Tori is reading upside down, so this could be a little bit tricky for her. So we have A to the 0, A to the 4. Oh, boy, do we have? A to the eight four. To the a four. to the four, because that A to the zero might as well just not be there. So I have A to the four. I like to go alphabetical. What about my B's? I have B to the Bird. one and B cubed. And B cubed, that's a total of? Seven. B to the seven. B to the seven. And that's all I have. Well, okay. Is that the answer? Yes. yes. That's the answer. 16. A to the four. B to the seven. Well, that was nice. All right. We need to change a color. What should we do? Pick a pretty um, color. Blue. Not yellow. Blue. Not yellow. Would that would be that would be a little tricky if we did yellow. Okay, so we have a nice little saucy problem here. We're gonna do how many properties are we gonna do? We're gonna do the multiplying property, right? Mm -hmm. oh, now you see what this does to me in the morning. All right, multiplying. <laughs> we also have a power to a power property, and we have the quotient property. All and up. we have negative exponents. We have all things going on. At the same time. Okay. Oh, so you might ask to yourselves, selves, what do I do first? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to do first? The power to power. Pi number. I agree. Power to power. That would be V to the 3 times 4, right? Yes. So that would be V to the 12. 12. And I will actually just cross that out. It didn't cancel out, but I am rewriting it. All right. So I have V to the 12. Anybody have any thoughts as to what to do here? Any ideas? Would you get rid of the negative exponents first? You could get rid of them, yes. Meaning, take the u to the negative 2 and maybe throw it down here as u to the positive 2. Can I do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I did. Whether or not I'm allowed to, I don't know. And then I could pick this one up, v to the negative 3, and I could bring it down here, v to the positive 3. What we'll have a whole lot of stuff down here, and what's left up at the top? 1. A 1, yeah. Okay, so now everything's in the denominator. Oh, I still have a negative. I could take this u to the negative 4 and bring it up here, u to the 4. So wait, it doesn't matter if it's on, like, whatever side it's on, you would just bring it to the opposite. It doesn't matter very well, Seth. It doesn't matter if it's in the numerator and it's negative exponent, it comes down. If it's in the denominator and it's negative, it goes up. You can also just combine them when they have negatives, but I find that to be a little bit tricky. So I think right now it's a good thing to move them around. Let's rewrite what we have. Let's do a change of color, a little bit bold. How about bold or red? In the numerator, I have a u to the 4. In the denominator, I want to put that 2 in the front. And let's kind of organize here. Let's put Q-R-S-T-U-V. Let's put the U's first. I have a, a U squared, and I'm just searching. Do you see, anybody see any other U's down in the denominator? No. I don't. I think we're U squared. And then look at all my V's. V cubed, V cubed, V to the 12. Well, why don't I just put all those together? V cubed, V cubed, V to the 12 would be? V to the 18th. Very nice. V to the 18th. I'm not even checking to make sure you're right because <laughs> you can't all be wrong. Well, you could, but I'm hoping you're not. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's looking really good, but I do notice a U in the top and a U in the bottom. So whenever you have a common letter in the top and the bottom, it's just saying you can do more. So what could we do? Whew. Um, Simplify, right? But yeah. how? Mm -hmm. You would subtract the two? Yeah, I'm going to take these, this U2 and minus it, because technically, if I could just write in expanded form, I have u times u times u times u here, right? And then this is u times u. 
So you would just so I just it. rewrote them in expanded form. These U's and these U's cancel out, and that's going to leave me U two U's U squared. So it's going to really leave me with U squared. But most people will just subtract the smaller one from the bigger one, mm -hmm. and the extra gets left wherever the bigger exponent yeah. was. Okay, so now just to rewrite this, I'm going to come up into the corner where I have room. <laughs> U squared over 2 V to the 18th. And Charlotta is going to check to make <laughs> sure our answer is right because we took this off of a CUDA-generated practice sheet, and it would be awkward if I got that wrong. We're good? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're moving on to the next big daddy. Okay, same <laughs> Same similar question. We haven't heard a lot from Tori, have we? No, I don't think so. No, Tori, no, what, what so dost thou think we should coast. do first? I'm going to turn it right so you can see it. Okay. Uh, distribute, I mean, multiply the to the power. Yes, power oh, all power. your powers. Power the powers. All right, now that we do call that distributing. It's not technically the distributive method, but we are actually distributing the powers to everybody. So, wow, this is just, this is, this is like a lot of. A lot. Where do I even fit this? I could try to shrink it down and move it over, but I don't have a lot of room to work with. So, okay. Let's go down to the to the denominator for a moment. I would have to bring the power of 3 to the power of negative 4 and the power of negative 3 to the power of negative 4, just timesing the exponent. So that would be x to the? Negative 12. Good. 12. Y to the? 12. 12. Yes. And then let's do that here. We're going to distribute the exponent of 2 to the exponent of 1, because that's the exponent of the 2, 2 to the 1, and then to the this one and to the this one. Okay, so what is 2 squared? 4. Uh, four. And x to the 4th squared? X, x to the 8. And, and then y to the 4th squared? X y. To, y to the 8. I know, it's the hardest part of getting the letters right. <laughs> okay, there's everybody in the denominator, and then I just have this numerator of 2. All right, let me just, here, I already did this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this to x to the negative 4, y squared. Okay. And then that's a little bit easier to deal with. Okay. So that looks just, does, it doesn't really look much better, does it? It's kind, of, <laughs> it's kind of as ugly as the other one was. All right. Yay. So let's do this one now. What We've got done the power to power. Do you guys want to move those negatives around? Yeah, yeah. I guess. yes. Okay, so we can take, how about this x to the negative 4? Let's drop it down, x to the positive 4. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other negatives we should do? X, x to, to the, the negative 12. 12. Okay, we can pick that one up and make it x to the positive 12. Okay, that's yeah. easy enough. <laughs> now let's see if we can now cancel anybody out. Now I have the wonders of, of the magic of wonderful this. I can get rid of that so it's not ugly. And now we can probably combine a little bit better this way. Do we have any canceling that we can do? Oh, um, here's a question. Do we have to combine, say, yeah. the x's together before we start canceling? You don't have to, but... I don't have to. I don't have to. I can do a little bit of it at a time, right? Or I could do an extra step and, and clean it up and yes. do it. But I'm just yeah. going to prove to you I don't have to. Because I'm going to take... These, we would agree the x's, right? Mm -hmm. We've got an mm -hmm. x to the 12th up here and an x to the 8th and an x to the 4th. And we do know x to the 8th and x to the 4th is x to the 12th. Mm -hmm. So yes. do we realize this is going to cancel out? Yes. All right, but if we didn't, <laughs> say we took four of these off of here because I canceled it out. That would leave me with x to the 8th. Now it gets a little ugly from here because I'm all over the place. But now look, I can take the x to the 8th and the x to the 8, and everybody just, everything is gone. So we could do the y to the 2 with the y to the 8 down here, or I could take the 2 off of the 12. It really doesn't matter. The 2's got to come off somehow. Yeah. So who do you want to take the 2 off of? Charlotta. <laughs> y to the 12. Okay, so we're going to minus that 2 off of that y. It's got plenty to go, and we're going to make it y to the 10. Now, if you can follow along and you actually see what we have in the numerator, what is left in the numerator? 
two. two. Just a two. Okay, I'm going to write an answer up here. And what the heck is left in the denominator? Watch out. Four. 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 We have a four. Oh, I'm glad you're here. I didn't even see that. <laughs> okay, we have y to the 10 and y to the 8, which is y to the 18. And now, does anybody see anything else we could do? You, you could, could simplify, simplify two two fourths. Fourths. the two fourths. Two fourths, two into two, one, two into four twice, just like in fifth grade. <laughs> and we have one over two, y to the eight, eight, oh, okay, eighteen, and that is what we have so far. Okay, we're back. I mean, you didn't even know I went away, but I actually paused it, and we've been, like, eating snacks and things, and now we're back, so it's, like, five hours later. So, anyway, we have a, um, <laughs> we weren't eating beans. <laughs> we don't know what that noise was. Is that the Chromebook card? <laughs> it's like a motor. It's not the Chromebook card, is it? Okay, well, we don't know what that vibrating sound is, but if you hear an explosion, please say goodbye to all the people we love. All right, now, I'm going to hand this over to... Charlotte. Charlotte. Well, I don't know. We hadn't decided on Charlotte, but, but it looks like she's the one who's been elected. And she's going to do it for you just because I'm getting tired of writing, and then we're going to all help. So it goes over to Charlotte. And tell us... Charlotte, what do you think we should do first? Well, since because this looks really intimidating, you yeah. can make it simpler by uh, combining terms hey, in let's parentheses. I like it. Okay. <laughs> what would you like us to do? Um, well, in the numerator, we have an x to the negative 1 and x to the negative 4, which we com can combine, if I can do that. We could. Anymore? We could make, she just changed the 1 into a 5 because uh, negative 1 sorry. and negative 4 is negative 5. And it did, I wasn't, I didn't know where she was going with it either. <laughs> but I think we all see it's a negative 5. So now we have gotten rid of the x to the negative 4 and now we have an x to the negative 5. They've combined it. Okay, keep going. And we have a y to the negative 4 and y to the 4th, which can be easily canceled out. Yes, because negative 4 and 4 is 0, and anything to the 0 power is 1, and 1 times anything is anything. There you go. True. <laughs> <laughs> and then... This is messy, messy, messy. Here, let me just, because I do this a lot more than they... Okay, because I'm so professional, messy. I'm going to make it worse. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to clean up what we have now in the numerator, which is... We're even going to make her rewrite that, right? Because that was a little... We were confused. So that was to the negative 5. That's the only thing left that we haven't done something to. Okay. Oops. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we come... Now what would you do, Charlotte? I think, I think we should Charlotte. Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're supposed to do that. Yeah, go yeah. for it. The X's. So Let's we can divide 2X to the negative 5th divided by X squared, Y squared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we combine the x's, maybe? Yes. Let's do it. Well, okay. since we know that 2 is greater than negative 5, hopefully, yes. um, we should just subtract negative 5 from 2, which is basically adding 2 and 5, which is 7. It is. And so then it would be x to the 7th in the denominator. <laughs> okay, and now it's not there anymore. Good, good. Seven. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and now we don't have to simplify anything else. Anymore. No, we've got we're good. So the only thing we have to do is take care of this to the fourth power. Yeah. Okay. So um, two to the fourth power is sixteen. And she didn't do 2 times 4 is 8. That's what makes me happy. <laughs> that's a common mistake. Okay. And then x to the 7th to the 4th power is x to the 28th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, don't use the pen. Sorry, we have a technical difficulty. We're fixing it. We're good. It's harder than it looks. I know. 
and I make it look easy. <laughs> that, that's, that's, a, that's, that's an eight. That's it's, an eight. Let's Any just pretend that's can an see eight. that. Okay, yeah. let's move and on. And then y squared to the fourth power is y to the eighth. <laughs> And that's your answer. Yay! That was good. Way <laughs> go you. Now, I do want to just come over here because I don't want like the video getting too long, but I do want to do a simplified version of that where we had, I believe we had x to the negative something. I'm going to do negative 8. And then we had, say, an x to the... Was it a negative down in the denominator? Or? It was positive. It was positive. So say we had an x to the 2. But there was also a whole lot of other stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And she did a little thing off to the side that was like minus to negative thing and the plus, and that was a little confusing. So if you think about it, when we have a negative exponent, we can take it and drop it down here and make it a positive, which is why those two numbers, that she added them together. Because when that negative 8 comes down here, we wind up adding the 2 and the 8, and we wind up getting the x to the 10 over 1 in this case. She did a little mathy math thing off to the side, but it was the same thing happening. Okay, just yep. making sure everybody else out there understands what happened. Okay, this was our little review. What are we going to call this video? What do you think we should call it? Um, we need a good name. Adventures with Skittles, yes. Charlotte, and, and Okay, Tori. but when people are searching for help, I don't know if they're going to go with Adventures with Operations Skittles. And, with so these are Expo, Expo, Expo op, why am I not using the stylus? I don't know, Operations. With negative Expo. With, with, with negative x, but I spelled something operations no, with a... with negatives. Negatives. <laughs> All right. It'll be named something like that. All right. Everybody say thank you to my guests. Thank you, guests. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. All right. And you know what I always say? We'll see you on the flip, flip side. side.